And so, the tale of Tariq ibn Ziyad unfolds, a man of valor leading his steadfast warriors across foreign sands. Though the Visigoth king, Roderick, rode with a legion vast as the ocean's tide, it was Tariq who stood unshaken. His soldiers, outnumbered yet fierce, moved like the desert wind, swift, silent, and unstoppable. Every swing of his sword carved their names into the annals of history. But Roderick, fearing defeat, turned his heart from faith. With words of dread and malice, he bent the forces of nature, and the heavens themselves darkened at his command. The wind howled, not as the breath of God, but as the wail of ancient forsaken powers. Lightning danced, and the storm tore the earth asunder, sparing no soul, friend, or foe. Yet even then, the mad king craved more, more than dominion over men, more than the fall of an army. In his blasphemous hunger, Roderick summoned forth giants from forgotten lore, the Nephilim, towering beasts of shadow and hunger, their eyes burning with a cruel fire, their steps shaking the earth. They came, not for conquest, but to feast upon the living. As those mighty creatures tore through the battlefield, Tariq did not falter. No. Tariq, the lion of his people, raised his sword to the heavens, and with a heart full of faith, he turned to face the Nephilim himself, alone. 